so uh, yeah. they don't open my emails. <laughs> it's true. Send us emails. That's just me. No, I remember being really excited when I came to my first engagement session. And I was like, this, this is going to be a huge, cool thing. I'd gone through the, the application. I'd gone through the interview, the group interview. I had a great time. I knew a couple of people in the program. I walked in there, and we'd go start going around with the introductions. And I started to feel really small. I, I'm sitting in this room with people who do sales in millions, people who are running their own art shows, people who work in, work in non-profit for years. I'm, like, I'm fresh out of my master's degree and currently a first-time babysitter, or a full-time babysitter. Um, it's cool. <laughs> but, you know, I did. I, 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 I run a little charity event. Volunteered a bunch, but I wasn't doing any kind of real life stuff. I didn't have any kind of plan. I mean, these people really had their shit together. <laughs> and I stopped and I, and, I, and, I, and I wrote five letters in my hand F I L D I. Fuck it. Let's do it. Because I really, <laughs> people I take really seriously had emailed me and said, Jim, you need to do this. This is something that will be good for you. But I was looking around there like, I. Not the guy for this room. This, this this chair that I'm in belongs to somebody else who did better in their interview, who was doing more in the community. Or I mean, these people exist. I know there's 29 of them sitting right here. Surely I am not the 30th most qualified person who applied. <laughs> and the thing I learned above all else, I learned a lot. I learned about governance. I learned about values. I learned about group work. About getting stuff done, but the thing I learned above all else is that I am the guy for that room. Is that there is always something that makes you the person for that room. And it wasn't it wasn't this massive self-realization that came from hearing one of Brennan's wonderful aphorisms <laughs> um, or one of Rosemary's lovely talks and stories, of which there will be great, there will be many, and of which we, from which you will learn a lot of things. It was being around the people I got to work with. I mean, my my group. You've already seen Gord and Christy and Paula talk, but in general, just sitting sitting at tables and having discussions with people and and having ideas and having answers it made me realize that this is something I can do. This is something that, that I can take away from this and have a real impact. When I came into it, I thought about, I thought about impact. I, I, I run a charity event and we play video games for children's hospitals. I'll pitch it all to you later. <laughs> but the important thing was I thought about impact in terms of money. It was just like, we, we, need to raise, we need to raise more money. And I came out of it going, no, we need to make people's lives more whether it's, it's not just the kids who benefit from the charity, it's our organizers, our volunteers, our guests, everybody. I mean, that is something that is within our power. That is, I mean, I can't fix cancer. I can't save kids from fires. I'm not a fireman. But I can make people's lives slightly cooler. And that's, I mean, that's something that lasts. That's something that you remember. I mean, nobody ever sits around on their deathbed going, man, I really wish I'd spent more time in the office. I think that if I really just like punch my line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should sign my sources. It also appears on like, Facebook every other day. But, no, I mean, nobody ever, no one's ever looked. If I had just, if I had just punched that clock a little harder, <laughs> I would, I would feel better about this. No, I mean, Engage is a program that teaches you how to do the stuff you want to do. It gives you tools to do the stuff that you think about while you're at your day job. And it puts you in a room with 29 other people who are as committed to doing that stuff as you want to be. Because even if you're not going into it, even if you're like, oh, you know, I'm just going to kind of hang out for the first couple sessions, they will get to you. <laughs> they will find you. And they will infect you. And you will see that there are people who ultimately despite having varied backgrounds and varied skill sets, the, the thing that everybody has in common, whether it's first year engaged or second year or third year or, or you guys, is that 
they really give a shit about this town and the people who live here. And I learned that not only am I one of those people who can give a shit, I'm one of those people who can do something and help others. Cause I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies I'd never leave you behind